Hello, hello, hello. It is your mom of three in NYC and I am back with another video. <laughs> if this is your first time on my channel, hey, welcome. My name is Teneza. I am the mother of three competitive, all three of them competitive kids living in the heart of New York City. I would love to adopt you, yes you, into my YouTube family, my tribe. All you have to do, I get to sing. S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. Smash that button that says subscribe down below. If you have already done that, thank you for the support. Make sure that you turn on your notifications, the one that says all, so that you get every single video. This, my friends, is a review of Project Runway All-Stars. Project Runway All-Stars. This episode, you guys, I realized that we're coming down to the final episodes. Kind of bittersweet. We start with 14 designers, I believe, and we are down after this episode to six. Down to six after this episode. This video is a review of Project Runway All-Stars, season 20, episode 10. The title of this episode is Freedom. It is a Project Runway first. The challenge, this challenge, as Christian Siriano tells the contestants, make whatever you want never and it's shocking because i was like never N 19 seasons no never a total freedom challenge make whatever you want two-day challenge budget of 750 dollars with 30 minutes to shop at mood also something different they will show at Franklin D. Roosevelt for Freedom State Park, and he is sure to mention rain or shine, and you'll see later in the episode. Bishman, because he won the last challenge, he gets first dibs on the model. He is first to pick. I have my notes. I am here for this sister circle. I'm here for this friendship between Kato, Laurence, and Carasan. I'm here for it. Here for it. I'm here for the colorful final seven. In addition to those three women, hashtag Black Girl Magic, we have Bishme and Praje. Then we have the other two final contestants, Brittany and Rami. Brittany, speaking of Brittany, she wants to mix fashion and activewear. She's going to create a bralette and top combined, cargo inspired pants, a cool athletic jacket. Kato said, y'all know me for my robes, so I got to pull it. <sighs> got to pull one out. She wants to create a huge robe, sweater and pants. They're going to be shackles in this robe that are not connected. Rami. He wants to create an Oscar-worthy, light, silky gown. Carson, she wants to create something whimsical, fairy-like, no holes barred. Bishme, a gown with a ruffled bottom. He wants to create for the first time an all brown look a jacket and a hat. Laurence is inspired at mood when she sees this beautiful purple leather. She wants to create her signature tailor jacket, but with a long floor length skirt. Praje, he practices voodoo and he is creating a look based on a voodoo god. He wants to create something different. He's known for streetwear, but he's also 
can create evening looks. And so he wants to create a drop waisted skirt that has a front slit, a crop top with big shoulders that mimics the snake skin. And his look is monochromatic as well. His color of choice is green like a snake. You guys, Prajay is hilarious. The way he was walking around the workroom, leaving the designer's notes and dropping hints, Brittany directly copied his, his top. She did. And I'm, I'm shocked that Christian, did, maybe Christian did not remember, but it was a direct copy. Her crisscross white crop top was exactly what Project had designed a few challenges ago. And Karasan's like, it's obvious, you know, don't say anything. I get it. But I think that she should have been held accountable for that, you guys. She created the exact same top. It was painful for me to watch at least. And it was funny how, yeah, it was, she it was stolen. She stole it. And you're gonna see later, but not even the judges realized it, I don't think either. I said, I, at this point in the episode, we're like only 15, 20 minutes in. Based on what we've seen so far, I, Teneza, said, I think Karasan is going to go home. You see that? After my notes about Prajay's top being copied by Brittany, I think based on the first 15 minutes, you guys, based on that fabric choice, based on that feather choice, I said, I think Karasan is going to go home. I'm just not sure how wearable her look is. Yes, we want high fashion. Yes, we want over the top. But will anyone can actually wear this? I think that the concept was a great one. Fashion fairy godmother concept in honor of her nonprofit for foster children. Love it. Love the, the inspiration. I love the story behind it. It was just, Christian said was giving Easter the colors. The pastels for me weren't serious enough. The color choice was not serious enough for the fabric she chose. In Tanaza's humble opinion. I said, I think Karasana is going home. Not sure how wearable her look is. Laurence's skirt is very restrictive. And I'm not really sure how we find this out with only 15 minutes left of day two. Christian is literally getting the models and taking them to the location in the park for the runway show. 15 minutes left, but Laurence does what Laurence came to do. She always, always pulls it out. They all go to the park for the show and it begins to rain. And we, we already said rain or shine. We already said that. So Poor Rami is concerned about his fabric. I mean, no one really designed for the rain. First one down the runway. And by the way, there is no guest judge. It is Brandon Maxwell, Nina Garcia, Elaine Welteroff, and then the fourth chair is filled by Christian Siriano. And he doesn't, he's just there to watch the show because he doesn't have any say on the voting. Number one down the runway, who's design is first? Kato. She thinks that this look is more than enough. This cape is huge. It's a statement piece. It's more than enough to get her to the next round, she says. Prajay, the all green look. The all green, the color is super elegant. Absolutely. And there's a surprise open in the back. The proportions are not what we are used to from Prajay. Brittany says that her look, the third one to come down the runway, shows her identity and DNA. Houseway. How is part of your look, which was already designed by another designer weeks ago, part of your DNA? I'm a little bit annoyed by her this, this, this episode, I will admit. In the past, it was Anna. Anna's gone. It's now Brittany. It's now Brittany. I think the, the judges love her and they love that her aesthetic is different than all the others, but I do not respect the fact that she's showing one part of her three pieces is a direct copy of another designer's work. 
mm, no respect for that. Brittany says that with this design, she was able to combine active wear and high fashion. Christian said it's fabulous. Elaine said sporty spice. They're all a fan of it. Fourth design to walk, Karasan, fashion fairy godmother. The judges already had questions when it first walked the runway. For example, Elaine said, the cut of this jacket is just so weird. Rami is next. High fashion beauty queen, Elaine says. Quite beautiful, Nina says. At that point, I was like, he's on the top. If Nina loves you, it's you're good. You're good. Laurence, gorgeous, Brandon Maxwell says. It's flawless. Her, I want her again, Laurence. I believe things happen. I do. Even the most ran, I, Laurence, I, Teneza, I am team Laurence. I want to see you win this entire competition. I need for you to come to New York City again. I need for you to dress me. I need one of a kind pieces that you will tailor make to my body because that fit, chest kiss was perfection. That jacket and that perfection. Bishmay's look was definitely a runway. Absolutely. Bishmay's look, I will say of all the looks, Bishmay's look, Bishmay's look was runway. It was high fashion. It was really gorgeous, Nina said. The two designers that were safe, drum roll, Brittany and Kato. They are both in. As they're leaving the runway, the designers are told by the judges, it was safe, don't play it safe. And Kato was truly offended because in her mind, the challenge was to create anything you want. It's a freedom challenge. I did that. How can you then say I'm playing it safe when I created what I wanted to create? So she was, mm, I mean, I think she was happy to be in, but a little bit put, put off by that comment. They had and Kata were safe, right? So there are five more designers. There were three at the top and then two at the bottom. Their favorite looks of the night. Bishme. Cool future take on bridal, Elaine said. This dramatic veil. The veil like went all the way to the floor with everything. Elevated the look. Red carpet ready. Nina said, you, Bishme, deliver fashion. You are making your own trends, Nina said. The judges loved Rami. Highlights the expert craftsmanship. Your look does that, Brandon Maxwell said. Nina said, this is perfection. Elaine called his gown that was cut on the bias stunning. And this gown does give us hints of the future. The third designer they love, Laurent. Team Laurent all the way. Team Laurent every day. And they ask her, where did you learn to cut a skirt? Because it is magical. And so she actually has a moment on stage where she breaks down a little bit emotionally and shares her story about being a teen mom, getting pregnant at 16, still going to fashion. No one knew, being disowned by her father. He ends up passing away. She does go to fashion school. And Nina says that you have a very, I like the way she said it. I've never heard of this before, a strict personality. All three designers, have precise points of view. And that's part of the reason they are on the top, right? You can look and you know who designed it. The two designers at the bottom, least favorite, Praje. This garment is everything you are not, Elaine told him. It's not modern, it's not fresh, and it does not fit. According to Nina, portioning it was the problem. The second designer that was a least favorite was Karasan. The colors are of the fashion fairy godmother, her nonprofit. 
The design was actually more breathtaking without the jacket and Christian in the fitting said the same thing. But she held on to that jacket and it's her look. It's her look. Karasan, I have in my notes, needs to learn how to edit down. The look was too fantastical. When they're deliberating, Brandon Maxwell asks the other two judges, Elaine and Nina, if you had to pick one, which can you see walking down a runway? At that point, I said, I was right. Karasan's going to be out because I can actually see Praje's look walking down a runway. I absolutely cannot see Karasan's look walking. I think, again, I think it was her color choice. I do. And I think that edited it down. It was a lot of look. They bring the designers back onto the runway and the, the designer that gave the judges a glimpse into the future and took our breath away for the second week in a row. Fishman. Congratulations, Fishman. Well deserved. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design. Rami and Laurent are also in. And I was putting my notes here. I'm really glad that Bishme spoke up and said that, you know, I look forward to sharing an entire collection with you guys. As he should. He should absolutely be one of the finalists. Cara, too much fantasy, not enough fashion. Praje, the shape felt dated. The designer that is going home and was voted out is Karasan. And I have my notes, what a sweetheart. She is such a kind person, a supportive contestant. I ever saw season one of Project Runway and Parley actually wants to go back to watch it because I just like who she is so much as a person. So again, it's so sad to see Kara Song go, but congratulations, Bishme, on an incredible, incredible design. All right, you guys are my fashion designers. You guys, my fashion designers, have an amazing, amazing, amazing rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you in our next review. Bye, fashion designers.